If you're thinking about going solar but don't have the cash for an upfront investment, solar panel leasing might be the solution that you've been looking for. But before you sign on the dotted line, it's important to know the pros and cons of this type of solar financing. Could leasing save you money or end up costing you more money in the long run? Keep watching to find out. Solar panel leasing is an arrangement where homeowners can install solar panels on their property by paying a monthly fee to a leasing company. This agreement typically spans 15 to 25 years and includes installation and ongoing maintenance. It's a convenient option for those who prefer not to bear the full cost of purchasing a solar power system up front. First, let's go over some of the biggest advantages of leasing your solar system. Number one, lower initial investment. One of the most appealing aspects of solar leasing is the minimal upfront cost. The average cost of a solar panel system is about $16,000, with the high end being at $35,000 and the low end being at $3,500. The cost of a solar panel system isn't only the panels. It will include the inverter, wiring, and the cost of the installation. With a program like solar leasing, you forego those hefty upfront costs for your lower monthly payment. Number two. Maintenance and repairs are covered. Leasing companies bear the responsibility for maintenance and repairs. Typically, this will run you anywhere from $140 to $180 annually for each visit from a maintenance professional. This means that for the entire year, you'll be spending about $300 in maintenance fees if you were to own your own system. Having the maintenance or repair costs covered by the system's owner is a huge relief for many property owners who decide to lease their systems. Number three. Immediate savings on your energy bills. The energy generated by the leased solar energy system offsets a portion of traditional energy usage, leading to a lower monthly utility cost. Depending on how much electricity you can generate with your panels, you should be able to make money back. Some solar panel owners are even able to sell excess energy back to their local utility company for a profit. How much you can make by selling your energy back to the grid will vary, but on average, you could potentially make anywhere between $50 to $700 a month. Many solar providers will also offer net metering programs to help you get a credit for the energy that you contribute to the grid. Now, let's go over some of the major disadvantages of leasing a solar panel system. Number one, a lack of ownership benefits. If you decide to lease a solar panel system, it means that you won't be able to claim any ownership benefits. This includes any financial incentives like federal or state tax credits, or any other local rebates that you may otherwise qualify for. And, while you can sell your home with a solar lease, it isn't the easiest process. You will be able to transfer your panels to a new homeowner, but only if they are willing to take over your lease. The only other option that you would be left with is to purchase your panels from the solar leasing company, or move the entire system to your new home. Number two ongoing lease payments. While you save on the upfront cost of your system, solar leasing requires monthly lease payments, and the typical lease term can range anywhere from 15 to 25 years. This means that you'll be paying them off much longer than you would if you were to purchase them upfront. The lease payment will also delay your return on investment for having solar in the first place. Many homeowners find the lease payments will cancel out how much they save each month with their system on their energy bill. Number three, Financial considerations in solar panel leasing. When weighing the decision to lease or buy your solar panel system, consider your long-term financial goals. Purchasing panels can lead to greater savings over time thanks to reduced electricity rates and the tax benefits that come with owning your system. However, if the upfront cost of a system is the barrier or if favorable financing options aren't available, leasing might be a more suitable choice, especially for homeowners with lower credit scores. And number four, Navigating the end of a solar lease. Understanding your options at the end of the lease is crucial. You might be able to purchase the system, transfer the lease to a new owner, or extend the lease. Each option has its implications and should be considered carefully to align with your plans. Each option has its own implications and should be considered carefully to align with your plans. It's important to carefully consider these pros and cons of solar panel leasing, as well as your specific financial and lifestyle circumstances before deciding whether a solar panel lease is the right choice for you. Buying your own solar panel system will ultimately save you more money in the long run. Not only will your panels pay for themselves through energy savings, but you can also benefit from federal and state tax credits. By owning your own solar system, you can maximize your financial advantages and enjoy the long-term benefits and reduced energy costs. 
Solar panel leasing can be a good option for homeowners or businesses who want to enjoy the benefits of solar energy without the upfront cost or a long-term maintenance responsibility. However, it's important to weigh the pros and cons carefully. If you're primarily interested in reducing your electricity bills without taking on ownership, leasing may be a good fit. But if you're looking for long-term savings and you want to build equity in a solar system, purchasing your panels will be the better option. Always review the terms of the lease carefully and consider your long-term energy needs before making a decision. If you're looking for more ways to increase the energy efficiency and sustainability in your home, be sure to take a look at all the latest renewable energy options in your area. The Energy Professor helps residential and small business owners find qualified energy suppliers in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Texas, Ohio, Maryland, Illinois, and Massachusetts. Thank you so much for watching. Happy savings and we'll see you in the next video.